Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys the Halloween 5 Michael Myers figure from Trick or Treat Studios. Okay, so like the two that came before this, you get the standard Trick or Treat Studios packaging, which is absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys and if you guys want to read it, please be my guest. But it's time to set Michael free. And here he is. You get three hands total, you get a knife, and you get the base figure. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is the knees. Um, I have no idea why Trick or Treat Studios did this, but they actually gave us double jointed knees. And I actually noticed this on the Halloween 4 figure way after I had reviewed it. Uh, I think it's a little silly. Like, why? And then up top, of course, you get the single jointed elbow. I don't know why they made these decisions, but that's what we got. And here we have the classic Halloween 5 sculpt. Um, I don't hate it as much as other people, but I do understand why it gets so much hate. Uh, it also has the triangle on the nose and the hairs that are printed on the side of the sculpt, just like the Halloween 4 figure. As for the hands, you get the same Freddy Krueger hands, and then you also get the same boots. Um, I believe they're the exact same. I could be wrong, but they look the same to me. As for articulation, you get the exact same thing that you got on the previous two. Uh, I go more into detail on my 78 video, so if you want to watch that, please be my guest and uh, leave a thumbs up also. Nothing special on the neck articulation except for the neck on this one is actually huge. Like the homie Zach says, it looks like he can swallow a jar of peanut butter. And I do not disagree, the dude has a wide neck. He was probably wide neck before wide neck, if you guys know that reference. I did struggle a little bit here to have him stand by himself, but he's fine. I think you'll need a stand in the end, but I, I think he'll stand just fine if you want to risk it. And here we have the classic TOTS trademark small hole that you need to really force this knife in. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to break it. I'll probably never pose him with this knife. Actually, let me show you guys something cool. Hang on. 2,000 years later. Now I know it's massively under scale, but I think it works. This is the scythe from the NECA 7 inch ultimate ghost face. I will literally never use this with ghost face, so I figured why not use it with Michael. And it fits in the hole like a glove. It's perfect. Like I said, it's a little bit under scale, but I think it works. I think it looks pretty kick ass. And I already have two Michaels with two knives, so I think this is a nice change. Let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts are about using this NECA Ultimate Scale Scythe. Are you going to do the same thing? Let me know. Alright, before I end this review, I just want to show you guys that this figure also does have the um, neck peg issue, just, just the way the Halloween 4 one did, uh, so just be careful. Here's Halloween 4 Mikey and Halloween 5 Mikey. I heard someone say that the Halloween 5 one was a lot shorter than the 4, but um, I can't really tell the difference. Maybe Michael's a tad bit shorter, but not by much. And then here are all the Mikey bros. And that pretty much does it for this review. I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you again for the 100 subscribers. Please drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, be on the lookout. I got some more videos planned soon. You guys have a good one. Thank you.